Some of them look like a bunny head. Some of them look like a squished bunny head. And then some of them look like that. Well, Welcome to Seriously Serial, episode 227. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. Find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. If you like to eat your cereal dry, then you're a snacker, like our buddy Bowler. Or if you prefer with milk, then you're a spooner, like our pal, Spoony. <laughs> Every month we post four episodes with a theme, and this month's theme is... Movies. That's a big theme. It is. <laughs> About 700 movies are made in America alone every year. And today's serial is... Space Jam, A New Legacy Serial. Ah, Space Jam, we meet again. Animated characters with live action actors together. Now that's movie magic. Movies with both animation, drawings that move, and live action, actors, are really cool, I think. It takes a lot of patience and perfect timing to combine those elements. It does. I actually helped make a film with both animation and live action footage. And it won a Best Film Award. It did. I animated some birds and wild animals who taught a mean human a lesson. Since the animated parts are put in after the live action parts, the actors have to pretend that the animated characters are there. Yeah. The magic of make-believe. The magic of the movies. <laughs> okay. The first animated film was made by Emile Cole, a French cartoonist. He drew 700 pictures in black ink on white paper, then printed them in negative with the colors flipped, so there were white lines on black paper. It looked like drawings on a chalkboard. That was in 1908, and the film was called Phantasmagory. But it wasn't until 2002 that Oscars were awarded to animated films. Before that, there weren't big awards for animated films. The first animated film to win an Oscar was Shrek. What's up, Doc? That's the famous Bugs Bunny catchphrase. Mm -hmm. Which was a popular saying in 1940 in Texas, where the writer-director lived. Hmm. Well, let's see what's up with this cereal. Okay. Alrighty. So they kind of look at like a little bit like crunch berries. I guess like kicks? I don't know. Now this cereal's a little purple crunchy, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of like kicks. This is supposed to be like berry flavor, yeah. I believe so. Yes. Yeah, I am mm -hmm. getting a little bit of that. It is it, it, like there is like some sort of like generic like fruity flavor mm -hmm. in addition to like the taste of like corn. It's very mild though. Mm -hmm. And I would say it's like mildly sweet, but it's definitely not what I would consider to be like a sugar cereal. Past the fact yeah. that it has some marshmallows, though I will say in my bowl. I have less than 10 marshmallows, so there's not a whole lot of marshmallow action going on. Yeah, I didn't get that many either. Bit. Just for the record, the shapes of these little mm -hmm. um, orange-like circles, I guess they're like basketballs, and then these little <laughs> vaguely bunny-looking white pieces. Which some of them look like a bunny head, Yeah. but then some of them look like a squished bunny head, and then some of them look like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, but you know, Bunny, you know, Bug Bunny's a cartoon. He can he can change his shape sometimes. A marshmallow is a marshmallow. Yeah. I like any marshmallow. Not bad, all in all, I'd say. It's definitely on the like more mild side, but mm -hmm. it's like mixed like, with marshmallows. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I like like that like mild sweetness though. So mm -hmm. mm, pretty decent, I would say. Yeah, you know, the marshmallows are so are seemingly so rare. It's like it yeah. almost you wonder why they're here. I guess. I guess it's like, with, like it's for movie. fun. Yeah, I guess with like movie tie-ins, they also often like go for like the marshmallows. Mm-hmm. I'd say this is a four. I'd give this a four. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five. Oh. Why you might ask? 
because I don't think that there's like a berry kix type cereal that has marshmallows. And I like both those things and those things together are delicious. At least for this box, I give it a four just because it seems like the marshmallows aren't really that like, there's not enough of them to like pull off that like dynamic of like Lucky Charms where you can like choose like to have a bite of marshmallows about a cereal. They're just kind of there and they're not bad. They don't like, they're not overpoweringly sweet or anything, but they just kind of seem a bit underutilized, I suppose. And even though I'm not a fan of marshmallows and cereal, I just feel like if you're gonna have them, you know, you should try and incorporate them into the overall experience, the cereal experience. I think I like that they're kind of light. It's like how the cereal is kind of lightly sweet. Oh, it's also pretty. light marshmallows. <laughs> okay, okay, we're done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone! Sassy Zero has moved to a new channel, Blue Forge Family. Click the subscribe button to help us grow. And never miss an episode. Then come chat with us at www.sassyzero.org. We have a blog, an official shop, and links to every episode. Seriously Zero will be back at 11 a.m. Pacific time with Maxwell, Jennifer, and Bowler! It's true! <laughs> Bowler will be helping us taste test. Shh, it's a surprise cereal. <laughs> oh, right. It's a surprise. Uh, well, uh, that's all, folks.